Karama Jong kutoka eneo la Karamoja kule Uganda wamekuwa mahumu nchini baada ya kulanguliwa kwa ahadi ya maisha bora na kazi nzuri. Kwa sasa mabinti hao wanaendelea kudhulumiwa kimapenzi wanapolala nje katika eneo la Isili miezi sita baada operesheni ya kuokoa. Hadubini imekuwa ikimulika utumwa mambo leo Afrika Mashariki na yafuatayo ni makala maalum ulanguzi wa watu na mwanhabari mwenza Siraju Rahman Abdilai. ni makala ambayo mtazamaji nitakuwa nakuacha nayo usiku mwanana maisha maisha kama hakuna mali ya kulala tunajaribu kujifunikana baridi bado inaingia nikaona ananilipa mshahara kidogo sasa nikapata rafiki yangu mwingine akanitafutia kazi we find that uh, they were being paid between 2000 and 5000 so it's rampant very very rampant all over kenya but kenyans don't see this as a problem traffickers work in cahoots with government with government officials especially the police how can a human being be sold at 50,000 shillings and this is approximately about 13 dollars kutoka Kampala nchini Uganda hadi Nairobi Kenya uhalifu wa ulanguzi wa binadamu unaendelea kushamiri wasichana wa Karamajongo wakiwa waathiriwa Adubini memulika ya minyororo ya ulanguzi wa watu kutoka soko la Rapai taifa la Uganda pale ambapo mabinti hao wanachuzwa kama mbuzi hadi mtaa wa Isili. Jina langu ni Siraju Rahman Abdullahi na hii ni Hadubini. Uwanja wa Shauri Moyo eneo la Makadala jijini Nairobi furumai zinashuhudiwa wakati maafisa wa polisi walipofika kuwanasa mamia ya wasichana wenye asili ya jamii ya Karamojong nchini Uganda Wasichana hao wanakongamana kila Jumapili katika uwanja huo kupiga gumzo na densi pengine kama njia moja wapo ya kujiburudisha ili wasahau dhiki wanaopitia kanzini. Wengi wao wakiwa vijakazi kutoka eneo la Isili baada ya kuingizwa humo nchini Kimagendo. Polisi wanakumbana na wakati mgumu kwa kusanya wasichana hao wasichana ambao hawataki chembe chembe za mawazo ya kurudishwa makwao miaka michache baada kukimbia bahala njaa eneo kame la kara moja baadhi ya mabinti hao wenye kati ya miaka 12 hadi 30 wakizimia kutokana na hofu ya kurejeshwa makwao Polisi walipeleka wathiri wa hao wa ulanguzi wa watu moja kwa moja hadi ubalozi wa taifa la Uganda. Pale ambapo walipewa uhifadhi kamili ya kurejeshwa nchini Uganda. Nilikuja kufanya kazi bile yani atuko kwa ali yani ni cause niko na limbaya umeona sasa mimi huko kwetu nilikosa pesa kwenda shule sasa nikakuja nikakuja huku Kenya kujitafutia yani maisha sasa nimesahau masomo umeona sasa nimekuja tu kujifanya kazi kusaidia mamangu na watoto ya babangu kwa sababu mamangu hana mtu anamsaidia sasa niliingia kwa ma problem bile nilenga kwa mashida kwa sababu babangu haiko hai 
Asa kuna mwenye anaweza kunisomesha. Siku hiyo pekee kitengo cha polisi kinachokabiliana na ulanguzi wa watu kibenaza wasichana 120 wa Karamajong. Wengi wao wakiwa watoto wanaopokea chini ya shilingi elfu saba kama mshahara kila mwezi kinyume na kiwango cha wastani ya shilingi elfu mbili. Bile nilianza kufanya kazi nilikuwa na miaka 15. Nilikuwa Karamojong nikakuja nikaingia Kampala nilikuwa nafanya Kampala kazi. Asa kufanya kazi Kampala ndio nikapata mdosi yangu akanileta Nairobi. What we were able to establish was that uh, these girls they, they 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 usually come in beats. Like you might find that there are like 5 uh, and 10 coming in from Uganda but they are supplied to different households and uh, these households uh, majorly they are in, in Sili. We were able to now be here uh, the key Ugandan trafficker who, who was uh, the key guy who was involved in bringing these girls from, from Uganda and uh, we did deport them back to Uganda uh, and that has uh, to a very large extent helped in coming now this flow of uh, the girls from Uganda to, to Kenya. Mabinti hao wanalanguliwa kwa hadi ya kazi na pesa ila mara nyingi mambo yanaenda kinyume na matarajio yao. Problem is people do not even know that uh, they are being uh, recruited because if for example you find girls are being told that we've got some work somewhere come others have not even gone to school there are those that are running away from poverty so you find that uh, most of them do not know trafficking in persons is exactly that when you when you trick people into a condition where they think they may be better off against their will or fraudulently so ultimately to be exploited and all three of these elements are, are present in, in, in East Africa. Imiezi sita baada ya wenzao kurejeshwa nyumbani katika operation iliyofanikishwa na serikali ya Kenya, serikali ya Uganda pamoja na mashirika yasiyo kwa serikali. Mamia ya wasichana hao wanaendelea kuhangaika katika eneo hili la Isili wakirandaranda pasi na kujua namna ya kupata riziki yao kwani hawana kazi tena. Densi kiwa namna ya kuvutia wanaume angalau wapate pa kulala na mikono yeleke kinywani. Hali hii ya kusikitisha ikiwaweka njia panda ya kuhujumiwa kimapenzi inasemekana kwamba ile mna dance yote mnataka wanume wakuje wanume na kuja na anachukua mmoja hapa aende na lala nayo hapana Uganda sisi tukiendanga tunaendanga dance alafu tunarudi lakini sasa hapa hapa tunaenda angi lakini Uganda tunaendanga dance na dance pa kusu tunaenda saa mbili tunarudi saa 12 usubuhi alafu tunarudi tuendi hata na watu na cheza tunaandaa kama ndani ya klabu hapo tunacheza cheza na alafu tunarudi Nilipatana na Lilian Achea mwenye umri wa miaka 17 ambaye nikifungua mimba katika familia ya watu watano Lilian ananiarifu kuwa yeye alifika nchini Kenya ili asaidie familia yake ila maisha yakamwendea mrama baada ya mwajiri wake kuhama na kumwacha Shambiro hapa hivi kama jana jana mvua ilinyesha ndogo ndogo pako siku pako asubuhi kama mvua inanyesha baridi iko joto pati hata unajaribu kujifunikana baridi bado inaingia hapa hata sikujua iko hivi nilikuwa nafikiri kajili nilikuwa nasema hapa haramu mwenye iko hapa inashinda mwenye kwa Uganda sasa sipia tukabali nilikuwa nasema tena Nairobi hakuna matope kuna uchafu hakuna kitu takataka hatunatembea tu jia gorofa kuna barabara ya shini 
natembea tu jua gorofa siku ya tukabali tukapanda gari kufika kwa hivi Walipotoka wilaya ya Moroto taifa la Uganda mabinti hao wa Karamajong walidhania kwamba maisha Nairobi ni maisha bora ila kama unaviona nyume yangu maisha si maisha tena maisha ya kulala nje maisha ya madhila maisha ya dhiki kunaelezea kwamba ni mashida ama tabu imewatoa kwao ila hapa wanapata tabu si haba <laughs> Je, mabinti hao wa Karamajong walijipata vipi nchini Kenya? Watu takriban milioni 40.3 ulimwenguni ni waathiriwa wa ulanguzi wa watu. Hii ni kulingana na ripoti ya kutathmini utumwa ulimwenguni. Jana hao wametoka eneo kame la kaskazini mashariki la Karamoja nchini Uganda kilomita zaidi ya 500 kutoka mji mkuu wa Kampala. Hadubini ilipokea picha zinazoonyesha hali halisi namna wasichana hao wanauzwa peupe midhili ya hayawani. <tos> Safari ya ulanguzi na utumwa mambolewe kingo wananga katika soko la Rapai wilaya ya Saroti kilomita 295 kutoka Kampala wandani wetu walinunua wasichana watatu kutoka kwa wazazi wao walioridhika na uamuzi wa wasichana hao kupelekwa kokote almuradi wapate pesa bila kujali watatumiwa vipi ama watapelekwa wapi wasichana hao hawajabalehe wala kuwa na vitambulisho wanafika mji wa Kampala pale ambapo waliobahatika wakipata kazi za nyumba na wengine wakilazimika kuombaomba wakisubiri mteja kutoka Kenya it was disturbing in the mind because this is the same market that has animals like goats and the price of a goat would be five times more than the price of a human being and that alone just made my mind froze that a human being can be sold at a cost of just 50,000 shillings which is approximately 13 dollars and i could not believe it uh, it even became more intense as i walked away and the girls were following me no person should be in a position where they they are enslaved for whatever reason not for cultural practices not for money not for the good of anybody else at the very heart of fundamental freedoms and, and, and human rights is the, the, the notion of, of freedom human dignity that should be respected and human traffickers prey upon that they, they don't care for any of those rights they care for one thing and that's the money they make out of people Hadubini ilibaini kwa wasichana hao wanasafirishwa kwa vikundi vya watu watatu hadi watano kutumia mabasi ya usafiri wa umma maksusi yanayoshirikiana na walanguzi kupitia mji wa mpakani wa Malaba Busia hadi jijini Nairobi. Walanguzi ambao wanatajwa kuwa na njama mpya kila uchao kwa piku maafisa wa polisi upande wa Kenya na Uganda. Any criminal will want to be much more smarter than the than the police. So you find that they're also learning new ways of recruiting, they're also learning new ways of harboring. This has happened and has evolved over the years to a point where they currently have a very structured manner in which they recruit, transport and deliver these girls from the, Karam the Karamoja area in Uganda. We never cease to be amazed at the tricks of the traffickers. We meet trafficking in all kinds of different ways and places and twists and turns. The traffickers know it all. We have some women down in the slums. They bring little girls aged 8 to 14 to the slums of Nairobi. They give them out each night to vans and pujos which are lined up wanaofika Nairobi wao huletu wa eneo la biashara la isili ambalo lina asilimia kubwa ya jamii ya Wasomali je kuna uhusiano gani kati ya jamii ya Wasomali na wasichana wa Karamajong the connection between 
the Somali community and the Karamoja girls is also historical. Uh, they start connection from the border of Kenya and Uganda, where certain business, Somali business people, are situated. And that's where the first movement from the Karamoja region, uh, that's where they first get delivered to, where they kind of stay for a, for a period of time as they do some petty jobs and as their transportation is organized. Getting cases of human trafficking is always a very, very big issue. Even the United Nations only reckon uh, on guesstimates. There's a guesstimate that there's between two and four million people trafficked each year. And a very large number come from Kenya because Kenya is a source, des des transit and destination country for human trafficking. The source is plenty here. Many, many thousands and thousands of young people out of school every year at the close of exams, nowhere to go, no fees, and so on. We have a challenge, really. That challenge is not only social part challenge, it's becoming a political challenge. Why the people are migrating from Ethiopia to somewhere in Yemen? Why the people are crossing to, 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 to Saudi Arabia and dying in the waters? So these are the issues that should be answered politically, but we are working upon that. We are working with international organizations, with partners, at least to, to minimize the problem. Wakati huu taifa li nakosesho usingizi na virusi vya homa kali vya corona, mamia ya watu wanapigwa kalamu kazini. Vile vile vija kazi hao wa jamia karama jong, hawa kusazi wa kamwe kwa ni wengi wao walijipata bila ajira. Hata hivyo inaonekana bado mahubiri ya barakoa na vitakasa mikono haija wafikia. Kwa nini amuna masu? Si tujui korona ndo nini. Korona wakuna. During this period of time, these girls realize life is not easy because they have no place. Like, they lack the most basic needs. They do not have a place to sleep, they do not have uh, regular food, a uh, place to feed, they do not have uh, clothes to change, they, you know, this gradually drives and they get introduced by the older girls into sexual exploitation. Kulingana na reporti ya taifa la marekani kuhusu ulanguzi wa watu duniani ya mwaka elufu mbili na ishirini, Serikali ya Kenya imeripoti wa athiriwa mianane hamsini na watatu, kati yao wanawake miambili na sabini na watano, wasichana miatatu na hamsini na mmoja, na wavulana wakiwa miambili na shirini na saba. Hii kiwaonge zeko kutoka kwa athiriwa walionusuriwa wa mia ine mwaka elufu mbili na kumina nane. Swala la kupokea vijakazi haswa kutoka maeneo ya magharibi ya Kenya likichukuliwa kuwa jambo la kawaida ila ndilo kitovu cha kwenye kwa biashara ya ulanguzi wa watu kwani wafanyikazi wa nyumbani wanaendelea kupokea malipo duni kando na dhulma dhulma ambazo haziripotiwi kwa polisi wala wazee wa mtaani turns out that they use them as child laborers in mainly in household work yeah, household work as working as maids is the is the most frequent occupation of these very underage children, like 10, 12, 8 year olds. Yeah, it's it's rampant, very, very rampant all over Kenya. But Kenyans don't see this as a problem. They see it as a help to the family and to the child. Uh, when uh, we're talking about human trafficking, most of uh, most of us will think of across borders. But it's even happening within our own boundaries. And it is, it is rampant. It is rampant because you bring in someone and uh, you're paying them money that is not, not commensurate with uh, what is uh, stipulated under the law. That means that uh, that, is, that is trafficking. And uh, trafficking for labor exploitation. When we arrest some of these girls, or when they are arrested, we don't take them to court, but uh, we, we normally liaise with the respective embassies, if it is Tanzania or Uganda, and hand them over back to them so that they can be taken back to their countries. We really nowadays don't take them to court because we do know that actually these are victims who are ignorant of the fact that actually they are being trafficked. The, the people who just know they are being trafficked are the traffickers themselves. 
Nchini Kenya ulanguzi wa watu unapelekea adhabu kubwa kwa mjibu wa sheria ya kuzuia ulanguzi wa mwaka na kumi. Mshuki wa ulanguzi wapo atapatikana na kosa, atafungwa kifungwa cha miaka 30 ama adhabu ya faini ya shilingi sio pungua milioni 30 pesa taslimu ama zote mbili. Yo. Hata hivyo polisi wanapata changamoto ya kupokea ripoti kuhusu visa vya ulanguzi na pia ushahidi wa kutosha kuwapeleka mahakamani walanguzi kwa kosa hilo. Hadubini iliarifiwa kuwa maafisa wa polisi kwa usairizi wa upande wa mashtaka wanashtaki walanguzi kwa makosa ya kukiuka sheria za leba, sheria za uhamiaji ama ta kosa na dhulma za kimapenzi. Kwani polisi wanakabili wanachangamoto ya kutoa ushahidi wa kutosha unapofikia katika mashtaka ya ulanguzi wa watu. The recruitment would, for instance, as you alluded, take place in Uganda. A person would be moved to Kenya, ultimately end up in one of the Middle Eastern countries uh, to, to work or forcefully be deployed in, in domestic servitude. Now, unless you can collect the evidence in all three of those countries and you can bring it together in a single court, for prosecution, whether through mutual legal assistance, whether through extradition of the perpetrators or collection of evidence and, and witness statements. It is impossible to prove the crime of trafficking in persons because you have to prove all three elements, or at least two of the elements if, if it's a child involved. It is not possible to do that unless member states work together. Uh, and a lot of people who have been arrested are the victims themselves. And there is, what that results into is just disruption. It does not really go down to um, the, the problem itself, who are the smugglers and who are some of the people involved in, the, in organized crime, because this is a form of organized crime. Uh, and we are trying to work hard um, as, um, as multi-agency. <laughs> Vile vile ufisadi wa maafisa wa polisi na wafanyikazi wa UMA ukipiga jeki ulanguzi wa watu nchini Kenya. Traffickers don't work alone. Traffickers work in cahoots with government, with government officials, especially the police. They work in cahoots with, um, with the provincial administration, that's the chiefs. They work very closely with other, other sectors of government where they are able to primarily and informally just receive direct access to, to, their, to, to, to their victims. Hivyo basi wananchi wanahimizwa kukaa chonjo dhidi ya walanguzi wa watu na pia kuangalia dalili za watu wanaolanguliwa ili kutoa taarifa kwa polisi. What I would also ask the public is to be on the lookout. If for example you're finding uh, uh, some children that you suspect are trafficked, please report to us the DCI. Kufikia sasa hadubini haijadhibitisha ripoti ya baadhi ya wasichana wa Kalama Jong kufikishwa hadi nchini Somalia kujiunga na kundi la kigaidi la Al Shabaab. We also got some rumors that there were some that were already taken to uh, Somalia but uh, we are still following up uh, that to establish if it is true or not. You know, who kwa na miaka mingi hapo? 18 Wasichana kutoka jamii ya Kalama Jongo ama humo nchini mahangaiko yakiwa majina yao ya pili. Jukumu ni kwa serikali za Kenya na Uganda kuingilia kati na kuwaokoa wasichana hao kutokana na silsili ya ulanguzi wa watu. Hayo yote yakiwa tisa ya kumi ni kwamba taifa la Kenya linabaki kuwa kitovu cha ulanguzi wa watu barani Afrika. Biashara hiyo ikikuza zaidi ya shilingi trilioni tano duniani wanawake wakisheheni asilimia kubwa ya wathiriwa Sirajur Rahman Abdullahi makala ya Hadubini KTN News Nairobi